To set up this demonstration, we need three terminal windows. One will be used for the vulnerable application, one will be used to host the LDAP server, and the third one is a control terminal. So first of all, we need to set up the new Docker network. We do this by running this command. We then have to start the vulnerable application, which uh, was created by Christoph, a fantastic application, fantastic guy. Please do go and give him a like and a follow. Um, so once that is up and running, we should check from the control terminal that uh, everything is working fine and we can look in the temp directory. We can see that there are three default files in there. Now we set up the log4j LDAP server. Um, so by running this command, this pulls the Sygenta container that we've created that contains the exploitable uh, classes. So that will get pulled in um, across the web, or in this case, over the Docker network. We obviously have to connect everything to the log4j network that we created. We then trigger the exploit. We do this by sending this command over to the application, and that application will then call over to the LDAP server. The LDAP server will send back the class um, that will get decompiled and then run the exploit. In this case, the exploit is touch a file in the temp directory. We can check that that has all worked by going back to the command terminal and running the ls command again. And you can see now that we have created that file in there.